Hey y'all, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. Uh, I am headed out to go turn compost and I thought I would take you guys with me. Um, all of the morning chores are done. Uh, I did doggy, uh, mobile doggy nail trims today. Uh, so work is done and uh, everybody is out for an afternoon feed. I moved. Um, well, let me just catch you up. So the sheep are now directly behind the garden coop and velvet is where the fallen tree is. And the calves now have all the way down into the woods. Um, so they basically have from this post all the way over to our fence line is like right there. And then it goes all the way down into the woods down there. Um, and all the way up back behind the, the not pond area. Um, so they have a bunch of foraging that they can do through there. And then their next place to go is actually back behind the barn uh, where they originally were outside. So the sheep are all out little calf has drank all of my calf chores uh, the cow chores are done for the morning and uh, I need to go back over and I'll have to go back over and check cows tonight but um, we had another baby cow healthy baby calf uh, this morning so I I barely missed one getting born yesterday afternoon and the mom was still eating the afterbirth uh, when I showed up yesterday evening and then this morning there was another one um, that was mommy already had him dry and he was already bouncing around playing so so all is going good with the babysitting project um, and I'm gonna flip you around and for those of you who don't know how I do my compost, it's very informal and very not technical. It's called cold composting. And um, I have lots of videos where I'm turning it, but uh, I'll flip you around and give you, the, give you the easy gist of it. So basically, usually I have four piles here. Um, I only have three right now. This is the oldest pile and it needs to get, as you can see, it's still growing grass it needs to get turned over to here and um, then it will sit for another month and then it will go to the garden this pile so real realistically and give or take a little while because like i i am you know two weeks behind in turning um and i don't think i turned in august to be honest so realistically it should be that you know this is like all of August's pile. This was all of July's pile. This was all of June's pile. And then that should have been all of May's pile. So once a month I turn it basically. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in the tractor and turn this. And like I said, it's called cold composting. There's not a lot of science to it. Uh, sometimes my compost piles grow grass. Uh, and then we just, we keep turning them you know, pretty much until they don't grow grass. Uh, but anything that sits in Arkansas for any amount of time is gonna have grass in it. This is a realization that I have uh, come to this summer. Um, here, here in Arkansas, you can heat up a compost and it cannot grow anything for months. And then all of a sudden it'll start growing something. Um, so even if you do everything right and technical, uh, the birds are still going to drop seeds on your compost piles and, you know, stuff is going to happen, folks. So don't get mad about it. Just continue to try. I am at a happy place with my compost. But for some people, my composting is extremely lazy and it's not technical enough. So get more technical. Do your thing. Uh, but I'm happy with where I'm at with my compost. And uh, this is how I do it.
Okay, there you have it, you guys. We have a little pile there that is three months old. This pile's two months old. That pile's one month old. Took me 20 minutes, um, and I'm not fast on the tractor. Some of you have commented that. Uh, and, oh, why I'm standing out here, you guys were actually just sitting under the sassafras trees. So I took tree samples in, and a lot of you were kind enough to put your input in. Um, and so those three trees behind me are sassafras. Um, the one that I thought was the tree of heaven, the one that had the berries on it, that is a sweet gum tree. And then the one that we were so hopeful was a black walnut is a pig nut. So it is still in the walnut family, but the nuts are really bitter. Um, so we will keep discovering, um, you know, what the, what the trees are here and I will get better as an arborist. I mean, you don't know until you start learning and, uh, if there's anything that gardening has taught me, it's that you never stop learning. If you stop learning, you're not trying. And so, um, so yeah, we have uh, the, let's see if I can, yeah, so the uh, sassafras trees, and sassafras, the, the oil extra extracted out of certain sass sassafras trees, not all of them, I don't know if we have the variety that is appropriate, but it is the oil that is extracted from sassafras trees is what is the flavor of root beer. Um, so that's kind of a cool little thing. Uh, and then the one right there, where is my hand? There we go. Right there is a um, sweet gum tree. And then this one over here is the one that we were hoping was the walnut. Where is it? And it, um, it's the pig nut. So, so no bueno as far as any walnuts. Darn it. I'm gonna turn the water off and then uh, we're gonna go up and uh, water the rest of the potted plants and gotta get some water on the garden. It's pretty dry here. Oh, it's so good to see all the animals out grazing. Even though it's pretty dry and we don't have a ton to graze, it's just good to see them out. beginning to worry that Oreo is just obese and doesn't have babies in her. She has till the 24th, I think. And then it's Jenny Craig plan, if you know what I mean. All right, I have already watered all of the pots down here next to the garage, so I need to water the pots up on the patio, but I'm gonna get a drink of water first. I wanted to show you guys something I saw this morning when I was watering. So, and a lot of you are saying that skunks will do this. Well, I, I don't smell a skunk, um, which thank goodness. And I'm a little concerned about that because I have so many dogs. And it, they say a skunk will dig like that for grubs. Um, that's what a lot of you are saying. I hope I don't have a skunk. I'm thinking it's an armadillo. Um, because I think armadillos do the same thing, but thank you guys for your suggestions, and I suppose if one of my dogs comes in smelling like skunk, it's time to get a trap. Um, but, look. Happy birthday, little baby carrots. <laughs> Got carrots coming up. That's exciting. Yeah, and last night it came in to this bed and rummaged through all here. The only thing that it looks like it destroyed in that process would have been a little bit of time. Um, everything else in here was dead. So, thank goodness it didn't get my basil. My beautiful purple basil. Mmm.
smells heavenly. Ooh, look. Isn't that beautiful? I have not seen a speck of damage on any of my tomatoes, but I noticed that this plant was stripped. Look at the size of that hornworm. That thing is ginormous. I mean, look at how big that thing is. I gotta go check my tomatoes. I'm sure I haven't seen any tomatoes or any damage on my tomatoes. Nope. At first glance, they all look okay. I mean, they're really bushy up top and I've pruned them down at the bottom. I don't see any hornworm damage down here, but, ooh, yeah. We are going to uh, give the chickens a snack. That thing is gnarly. Ugh, gross. I've handled more bugs since I moved to Arkansas than I think I've handled my entire life. That is the one thing about here um, that I would say is really, really hard to get used to. I mean, the heat, we knew it was going to be hot. The humidity, we knew it was going to be humid. Um, and yes, there were times when that was hard and, you know, we hid from the heat. But the bugs is just, it's, it's unreal. How many species and <laughs> bugs and stuff that there are here. Um, I don't know if I can even touch this guy. I mean, can I can I pick him up? Is he gonna stab me? Ooh. Woo! Okay, nope, ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. Eating all my stuff. I wonder if it's you that's been eating my lemon and lime trees. Quit flipping around like an idiot. You're going to the chickens. I wonder if it's him that's been eating my lime trees. I don't know, that's an interesting place for him just to show up. He stripped that thing clean. So I'm glad I got him before he moved on to something else. Well, if anybody ever wondered if I was showing the real, the true, and the ugly, then you should know now because I just got squeamish with you on YouTube. <laughs> I got you guys a treat. I have heard that sometimes your chickens won't eat these. Some people's chickens eat them and some people's chickens don't. So we are fixing to find out. All right, there it is. Oh, chicken football. Oh, yeehaw. <laughs> That's a big worm. Chicken football is awesome. Oh, it passed hands. Oh, 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 it passed hands again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he's in half now. Okay, this is where we exit. You don't need to watch things get annihilated. It's not the kind of channel we are.
That was a really good tandem, boys. All right, back to what I was doing. I just freaked out when I saw that thing. I did pick up a different form of food for my citrus trees. Um, I picked up a specialized citrus food uh, for them to see if that will help them stop dropping their blossoms. Um, because, I mean, this guy flowered out completely and we didn't get a single fruit out of all the flowers that were on it. And we have, I mean, we have some limes. I've got one there. Um, but I'm seeing, I'm still dealing with some yellow spotting. Um, which is a deficiency. And they've been limed. See? So they've been limed. Um, I'm gonna try this citrus special food and see if that helps them. And then I've also got another idea of a Epsom salt fish emulsion. It's a recipe that a client gave me. Um, called foliage spray uh, but I'm gonna try the lady at the nursery told me to quit giving the fish emulsion and use citrus the citrus food on them it's it's organic and natural so I'm gonna try that um, got quite a few limes over here Lime. oh look at the cute little frog I'm telling you guys where's he at there he is. So anyway, back to work. Gosh, it's amazing how fast time flies when you're having fun with your friends. And uh, it is time for me to go. I need to go check calves and cattle and start the evening feed and chores and all of that. So thank you guys for coming along with me for compost and tomato hornworms and uh, watering a little bit of the plants around here. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one. Yours truly.